If I could write you a song to make you. Hi, everybody. Uh, it is V Day, day two. And I am here um, to do my first V Day video. And I am not as prepared as Brie is because I'm like, I have no idea what I'm going to do. So I need to figure that out for next video. Um, I'm sorry I look disheveled. Um, I started a new workout regimen recently and I'm very happy with it as I've been successful. So maybe that'll be one of my videos. We'll see. So I decided since I didn't know what I was going to do, I figured, hey, Brie made this awesome birth tag, so I'm going to do birth tag for my first B-Day video. So let me just pull it up from my Facebook real quick, and we will get going on B-Day. I don't know if you can tell from previous videos, but I'm actually in Brooke's room. And I know it's like, oh my god, her room's not complete. Where is she sleeping? She still sleeps in my room. She sleeps in her pack and play in my room. And I probably won't move her in here until she's like a year old. <laughs> and I get a lot of flack for it, but I'm pretty comfortable with where she is right now. I can keep an eye on her. So, as you can tell, this is her wall. I painted that wall. <laughs> so, here we go birth tag what were you doing when you went into labor when i went into labor i was at work and i work with patients i'm a medical assistant and i was actually going to take out some stitches and do some tacking in a patient and my water broke <laughs> so number two when was your due date and when did you deliver my due date was actually the fourth of july and i delivered the fourth of june so my daughter was exactly to the day a month early number three did you deliver in a hospital at home or in a birth center i delivered in a hospital and i actually drove 25 minutes to get to this hospital because it was the one i preferred but i delivered in a hospital number four who was with you during labor during my labor uh brie was there with me I have to say she kept texting me and she was such a great supporter. My husband was there with me and he was the most amazing supporter I think I've had ever. And my grandmother was there with me as well. And that's it. I had constant texting from my best friend and so she was technically there and Brie was technically there and my mom. But the people that were there in person were um, my husband and my grandmother. Number five, what are you really glad you had during your labor? I'm going to be honest, and I'm really glad I had my epidural. And that's about it because I had to have a antibiotic because I didn't get my group B strep test because my water broke before I had my doctor's appointment. And I was given the antibiotic and I was allergic to it and I had this huge rash I kept itching on my chest and they gave me Benadryl for it and so I'm like conked out because the Benadryl is making me tired and I'm having these really intense contractions and I finally was just I think I was at I believe I was at six centimeters when I finally just said can you give me the epidural so I can sleep because they kept waking me up so one of the things I'm really glad I had for my labor was my epidural and I'll stick by that <laughs> um, number six how long were you in labor for from start to finish I was in labor for 12 hours and I'm really glad about that <laughs> for number seven which was more difficult labor pushing or recovery I have to say that definitely the most difficult part of my labor or everything in general was pushing and it wasn't because I didn't I couldn't feel that I was pushing like most people say when they have an epidural I just had I just felt like it was so intense the um, amount of pressure you feel when you're pushing if you're going to be a mom let me tell you this when they say it's like pushing a bowel movement it is like the most intense bowel movement you've ever had in your life and you just feel all this pressure and it's this intense thing that you it's just it was actually I felt like it was 
painful. Like I was so, I, even though when I had my epidural, it actually had turned off, so it was starting to wear off, but it was pretty painful and I just, that was the hardest part for me. I ended up getting pissed off and crying and I actually quit in the middle of pushing and so yeah, <laughs> pushing was the worst. Number eight, what did you think when you first saw your baby? I remember thinking, oh my god, that was inside of me. Oh my god, that's my baby. Like, that's a piece of me and my husband. And and then they took her from me. And then I didn't get to see her again until they brought her back. <laughs> uh, number nine, what was your baby's length and weight? I, um, she was six pounds, seven ounces. Think about that, guys. She was a month early, six pounds, seven ounces. And she was 19 and a half inches long. Number 10, what advice would you give about birth to a mom to be? Mom to be. The biggest thing I could suggest to you is there's a lot of things I could suggest to you, and I might just do a whole video about that, but the one thing that I feel is the most important thing about when you give birth, have that support partner. My husband, with me crying and quitting in the middle of pushing and being so upset, he was in my ear, he was whispering to me, telling me I was doing such a great job, we were almost done, I was doing beautiful, he could see her he was kissing my forehead he was such an amazing supporter and he did so much to help me I believe he is the one that helped me further along my pushing until I got mad at the doctor and um, he is really what kept my spirits alive and what kept me going so if I could suggest to you one thing if it's not your spouse if you're a single mom or you know if your spouse is not here due to military or for whatever reason have somebody that is your partner that will support you no matter what you choose what you decide what you what you do in your birth and make sure that that person is there for you no matter what and you will be great because that is probably the most the one thing I remember the most from having Brooke is him in my ear encouraging me and telling me everything is going to be okay so that was birth tag I suggest mommies join me in this birth tag awesomeness um, if you're not a mommy yet and you have questions shoot some down below and I would love to answer questions I could probably do a Q&A I mean I have a whole month to do this so I will see you ladies on Saturday and and in the meantime, enjoy being mommies. Bye, guys.